we are going to look at where did the rows statistics go in the previous video we looked at the good old days we had the good days in the 1960s but right now we don't have them so we have to look at where they went where did they go yeah, the economy started to deteriorate under the rule of president idi amin from 1971 to 1979 so when it's believed that when Amin came to power, the economy started to be disorganized. Yeah, and his period was characterized by things like the 1972 economic war. In August 1972, Amin expelled Asians, over 7,000 of them. He chased them from the country, and this disorganized the economy because he gave out the, the, the businesses to the local Africans who were inexperienced and corrupt. Yeah, so the, the, the business ended up collapsing, which affected the economy of Uganda. So it all started with the 1972 economic war. He chased them because of various reasons. First of all, they were dominating the trade of Uganda, and they were discriminating Ugandans. They were only employing family members, things like that. So the bad days start, started with the 1972 economic war. Then uh, another reason was gross mismanagement of the economy by Amin's henchmen and hangers on. The, 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 the people who were given businesses of Indians mismanaged them because they were not experienced and they were greedy. And they had not worked for those things so there was gross mismanagement of the economy and a few benefited from those things for example Gordon Wavamno yeah then the uh, introduction of economic distortion such as price controls high import tariffs excess excess printing of money fixed exchange rate regime so they misman mean mismanage the economy by setting price controls for example setting a maximum price of the goods and services then high import tariffs which discouraged importation excessive printing of money which led to inflation in the country yeah so all these led to the bad days that we are having right now then the physical indiscipline Spending too much on unproductive sectors such as military, government, etc. Instead of spending on productive sectors, I mean, was spending on unproductive se sectors like the, mi the military. Yeah. Then collapse of the former sector, government tax base reduced since the businesses were in the hands of the unskilled people. The sector collapsed collapse of the former sector also contributed to the statistics that we have right now which are which are not like the statistics that were there in the 1960s then a drastic fall in foreign direct investment when amin chased the asians the investors were discouraged from coming to invest in uganda because uh, it was viewed to be discriminative and uh, political environment was not stable so there was a drastic fall in foreign direct investment then ex escalating foreign and domestic debt yeah i mean borrowed a lot of money yeah, which also affected the economy so these are some of the reasons of why we no longer have the good days like the way they were in the 1960s yeah thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe like comment share with your friends and watch my next video which i'll be continuing with our course unit